if y'all are not familiar with the actor that's on the screen right now, his name is Lakeith Stanfield. He's most known for playing in the show Atlanta. He plays the Darius character, probably one of the best characters ever put on a small TV screen. But he was also in Get Out. And um, the most recent film that he's done was called Sorry to Bother You that also co-starred Tessa Thompson that came out a couple months ago. I actually did a review for it on my channel. Very interesting film. But the reason why I'm making this video today is because he fell into the same trap of loving his own that LeBron James did a couple months ago. Now, what I mean by that is he put up a post of uh, Jada Pinkett Smith, her daughter Willow Smith, and her mother. It was a picture that um, Jada had posted up on her Instagram account, and he screenshotted it, and he reposted it on his page, and he left a comment on there basically saying that, you know, uh, black women, some of the beautiful, most beautiful creatures I've ever seen is something to that effect. It gained a lot of likes and a lot of comments. Of course, there was a lot of praise and then you had some trolls and the trolls that pretty much entered into his comment section. And this is the reason why I said he fell into the same trap that LeBron James did was these white female trolls. Most of them did not have any picture of any kind to really show who they truly were but they were leaving things like well all women are beautiful but what about white women you know the usual stuff that they usually uh say all the time and it, it gets old it's been old it's tired they have been seen and crave the center of attention in the spotlight for so long that they can't even deem sharing it with someone else or uh, at the very most, have the spotlight be dimmed on them and shined elsewhere. Because for years, they've been seen as the standard of beauty. And it's mostly been because of their men putting them on a pedestal. And because they run the media, they'll always put them up there first. I mean, Harvey has talked about this a lot of times in his videos. And since he's much older, I understand where he's coming from. Like back then, you know, whenever they would advertise something, you always saw a white woman on a billboard. You always saw her in a commercial or a television show or she was the leading lady in a movie all the time. And they made sure to not make not make her look like downtrodden opposed to if they put a black woman there, she would always be the sidekick or, you know, in a, some kind of small role where she probably was playing a drug addict some, or something to that effect. I remember seeing movies back then, uh, two in particular, where Halle Berry played a crackhead and losing Isaiah. And um, what was the name of that movie? It was a Spike Lee uh, movie. I think it was Jungle Fever. And she played a crackhead in both of those movies. Now, don't get me wrong. Halle Berry was bad back in the day. And even when she played a crackhead, she still looked kind of good. It was kind of hard for them to make her look really bad as a crackhead, but she could play the hell out of one. But. The point of the matter is they always will put a white woman on a pedestal. And the thing is, they always want to be included. That also piggybacks on the video that I had posted up on my community tab about Gina Rodriguez when she was being interviewed alongside Yara Shahidi for their movie Smallfoot, in which the interviewer was referencing Yara and was talking about black girls and black women. And then in comes before, before y'all can even get a word in edgewise, here comes Gina Rodriguez to, inter to interject. Um, um, all women are beautiful, something like that. And then has the nerve when she gets questioned to talk about Latino representation. Notice Yara didn't interrupt her and say black girl or black women representation. See, it's that stuff right there that pisses a lot of people off. If this man wants to acknowledge black women on his post, then he is allowed to do so. There's no problem with that, but they seem to have a huge issue with that because they always want to be included and they've always been seen as the center of intention, as the princess, the, you know, the angel, all of that. So the minute that the spotlight is being shared by somebody else or they have to um, step to the side and, you know, step to the background and not be in the foreground. It's an issue. 
and let's not forget, in case y'all didn't know, his, I'm not sure if he's married to her or not, or what have you, but he has a daughter with a black woman. Her name is, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing her, her name correctly. Her name is Zosha Rockmore. I think that's how you spell it. It's spelled X O. S H A. I'm gonna pause it right quick and see if I can find a picture of them two together. Okay, here's a picture of them two together. As you can see, he's holding her stomach. That's back when she was pregnant. I think since then she's probably had the the baby because um I'm looking at the background. It says underground, and as we all know, unfortunately the show Underground got canceled uh after the last season, which was last year. So I think she's probably already had on the baby from a distance she almost looks like brandy from a distance but she's a very beautiful woman and they make a lovely couple and i'm very sure that their child is nice and you know nice and healthy so of course he's going to sit there and he's going to praise on black women but they have a problem with that because they want to be included it's almost like they seek validation almost more from black men than they do their own now that i think about it because like I said, they did, they're doing this with him. They did it with LeBron James. And I will never forget when uh, the actor John Boyega had got, who was interviewed on Kelly and, well, at the time, Kelly and uh, Michael, when Michael Strahan was still on the show. That was before Ryan Seacrest took his spot. Uh, she had asked him what kind of, like, they was asking him about his relationships and stuff like that, or was he dating? And I think he said he was single. And then Kelly had came back and asked, what kind of women do you like? And he said, I really love black women. And he didn't hesitate when he said it. And you should have saw the look on her face. It was almost like a look of shock. I'm like, first of all, Kelly, why are you acting so shocked? Aren't you married? Like, it's almost like whenever a black man professes that he loves a black woman, the world gets shocked. It's almost like we are in a time warp and time just stops. Or everyone just stops what they're doing whenever we say that, like, it's a big shocker to everybody. Like, it's a shock that um, black men can actually love or, you know, like their own women because of how the media puts it out there. Why do you think the media pushes so much in these commercials where you'll have a black man with a white woman or a white woman with a black man and, you know, or a white man with a black woman and, you know, all types of stuff like that It's all media propaganda. And that's why you, they'll push those kinds of relationships, even all the way into, you know, the movies and stuff like that. I remember someone w was posting up about an ad where they were showing how it was the single black mother and she had all the kids, but everyone else was in a nice, happy relationship. They even had a gay couple up there and even the gay couple was interracial. It was a black, I think it was a, it was a white man and I think like a racially ambiguous black man. I'm sorry, a white man and a racially ambiguous black man. So it's propaganda all the way around. Shoot, even the CDC backs up as far as marriage st statistics go and says that there's more um, black people who are married than not or as far as interracial relationships go. It's more people who are black, who are who are both black, who are married. But they don't push those kinds of stats. And whenever they do push something out there with a black family, it's usually some kind of dysfunction. It's always some type of drama because that's all they love to see when it comes to us. Our drama is their entertainment. It makes them laugh. I bet they are some of the biggest consumers of that ratchet reality, quote unquote, television out there because they get a kick out of that. But if you was to put like a solid, maybe black love story together, then it's like, mm, it's too cliche. Well, y'all been doing that for years with a lot of your white love stories and no one's criticized those. But, you know, it is what it is. But I give my kudos to Lakeith Stanfield for saying what he said. He didn't back down from what he said. He didn't remove the post. He meant every word that he said. Well, then again, I don't know, because. I follow him on Instagram and he has a tendency to post things, leave it up for a little bit and then he'll delete it and then post and post something up else new. Those of you who might follow him on Instagram, if you have an Instagram account, know exactly what I'm talking about. But kudos to him anyway. Y'all let me know what you think about this down in the comments, like, share, subscribe. The links will be in the description. I'll talk to you in the next one.